what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Authorities say rapper Kodak Black has been arrested after a guest at his Florida home live streamed people handling marijuana and a handgun around an infant. Kodak Black faces seven felony charges, which include child neglect, grand theft of a firearm, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, and marijuana possession. Keep in mind that he was also facing charges from 2016 for sexually assaulting a woman in Florence, South Carolina at a hotel. <sighs> they say this dude has been in and out of jail since he's been on probation. He's been given a number of opportunities. Let me tell you something, man. I'm all for second chances, third chances, fourth chances. But damn, man, when they get around 30, at some point, you got to take responsibility for your actions. Look, I come from where dude come from, so I know how difficult it is to shake the streets. Even in the midst of success, people say, man, he got all that money. He got all that success. What's wrong with him? Man, it's hard to explain, but I can just tell you that just like anything in life, it's a process of conditioning. Doing things the wrong way is exactly, it takes the same type of energy and same type of conditioning that it takes to do something the wrong way as it takes to do something the right way. So if you're conditioned to do things the wrong way, then it just becomes habit. It becomes who you are. And it takes a long time to get out of that type of situation, that type of mentality. Think about the things that you know how to do, the things that you are conditioned to do, your behavior patterns, the habits that you have. Think about how long it, it took to form those habits. It's very hard to break those habits, even the ones that you feel are not good for you. It's very hard for you to break those habits. And that's how it is with Kodak Black and anybody that you put some money into their hands. If they come into prosperity, they ain't never had nothing, or they from the streets and they're used to the street life or whatever, man, it's going to be tough to break it. It's going to be tough to get that monkey off your back. But he got to figure it out. I think that they're going to end up making this boy spend 2018 locked up, possibly even 2019. I don't think they're going to go too hard on him. But the sexual assault thing, I don't know, though, because I've seen them go in on people on those sexual assault charges. So that's hard to determine. He faces up to 30 years with that. And I know it seems like a long shot, but you never know when you walk into these courthouses in America, especially if you're black. You're already a target. Even if you're doing things the right way, even if you're walking the straight and narrow, if you are a black man in America, you are being targeted for failure every single day. People are looking down at you and they're looking for some type of way to get you caught up. That's why if you run for public office and you're black, you better make sure you do everything by the book. Because if you don't, they're going to throw the book at you. That's guaranteed. Some of these other people, man, they can get away with playing them games. But not black folks. You got to walk straight and narrow. You have no choice. Because they are targeting. This dude got a... He was already on probation, right? So... And these are felony charges. The feds are hard up for cases. The feds are taking cases they normally wouldn't take. They're taking cases left and right. They're going to the state and say, we want that case. We want that case. 
And a lot of times it just depends on whether they just want it or not. They don't really have anything to do with, you know, with his legal legalities and all of that. It's just like, uh, we'll take that. Okay, we'll take that. And I wouldn't be surprised if they did try to take this case. And if that happened, oh, man. Oh, man. I sure hope dude can figure out a way to, to get out of this jam and get himself straight. I hope his team, his legal team, the people around him could, can help him out of that situation. That's a big problem, man, when you have success. You got a lot of money. And you got people around you who are enablers. They see you doing something that's not fitting, that they know is destructive. And instead of them pulling your coattail, they ride your coattail. Instead of them pulling you to the side, they say, dog, look here, man, you know, man, I don't care if you don't like me, man. I, I, I love you, man. That's the only reason I'm telling you this because I love you, man. You don't need to be doing this. You got all these yes people around you. And a lot of times, people are yes men, yes women, because they don't want to miss out on the action. They don't want to miss out. And then some of these celebrities, they get so big, the way you can't tell them anything. I would hate to have that type of life where the people who I value, the people who are closest to me, couldn't tell me when I was wrong. In fact, I would feel violated. I would feel something was wrong with them. I wouldn't feel that they were a true friend if they knew I was on the wrong course and they didn't say anything about it. I had to tell my brother years ago. My brother was like, told me one day we were at a house gathering and he told me, well, man, I just figured like I couldn't talk to you or nothing, you know, because, you know, you know, you really D, man. You know, you're going to do what you want to do. I'm like, food. we slept in the same bed together. You my brother, man. If you can't tell me when I'm doing wrong, who can? I welcome that. I welcome if I'm on the wrong track, man, speak on it. I'm, it may not be something I want to hear at the exact time, but I can appreciate it if somebody told me that, especially people who are close to me. I can appreciate it. Y'all, man, y'all got to stop recording your every move. You got to stop that. You got to get your asses off that damn Instagram, Facebook Live, whatever. YouTube, you got to get off of that. Stop recording your every move. If you're going to do that, if he hadn't recorded that, or if his guests hadn't recorded his activities, he'd still be free. If they hadn't recorded it and posted it on social media, he'd still be free. But I understand they want to they want to get with their fans. They want to communicate with the fans and, and be accessible to the fans. I get all of that, man. But I ain't being accessible to no damn fans to the point where I'm going to tell on myself, get myself locked up. That's crazy. The sad part about all of this is that Kodak Black grew up without a father in the home. And now his son is having to grow up without a father in the home, at least for the time being. Let's hope that's a real, real short time. But he can't blame anybody but himself. I mean, man, at some point, man, you got to stop making excuses. You got to stop asking for chances and just get it right. Just get on out there and do what you're supposed to do. Because these people ain't playing no games. They don't care that you're a celebrity. In fact, yeah, they do care. And... That right there will make them go in even harder on you. Because slippers go. That's the way it is. Sending positive vibes out to Kodak Black and his team. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about?